Horse racing has come under fire in recent months with the deaths of multiple horses at Santa Anita Racetrack in California. Now officials with PETA say they are putting Kentucky racetracks on notice and they want changes to the industry. LEX 18's Eleanor Buckley has that story plus reaction from Keeneland. The eyes of America are on the state of Kentucky and they're certainly on the possibility of breakdown. Roadster on the upside. Breakdown or the euthanization of horses after a catastrophic fall. It's been talked about most notably in Santa Anita, where 23 horses have already been euthanized at the track since December. Keeneland is also under scrutiny from animal welfare groups like PETA after a horse was injured and put down during Saturday's Madison Stakes. PETA officials say they are putting Kentucky racetracks on notice and calling for major changes, including banning all medications. We know that 90% of broken bones in horses occur at the site of a pre-existing injury. So somehow horses are being medicated to cover up that injury intentionally or unintentionally. Keeneland officials agree and say they are willing to do whatever is best for the horses, including stricter and more unified laws surrounding the use of medications. Take this moment in time to advance and have an urgency to some reforms and initiatives that we have felt strongly about for years. Medication is one of those. So uh, obviously that's first and foremost uh, thing that people are talking about right now. We support those initiatives. Pete officials say they are also looking towards Churchill Downs and the upcoming Kentucky Derby. They plan to be at a shareholders meeting later this month to question executives about track safety, but do not have any protests currently planned. Covering the news in Lexington, Eleanor Buckley, LEX 18 News.